Hello, I think we can get started with today's webinar. Uh, first of all, I would like to welcome you to the Seller Express webinar. My name is Emma. I'm a member of the Seller Express support team and in a slight change of plans, I will be presenting today's webinar. In case you have any questions, we have Ryan on the chat. You can direct anything I don't cover to him and he will answer for you. Uh, today's webinar is on Seller Express automatic repricing for Amazon. As highlighted in a series of recent emails, our repricing tool has been updated and this webinar is just to introduce you to the changes and the new settings in Seller Express. I will only be focusing on the new features rather than giving a full explanation of how our pricing tool works, but we did do a webinar on this previously and it is available on our YouTube channel if you would like to check that out. Following the presentation, I will also be sending some extra reading material to give you a greater understanding of the new features in the Seller Express repricing tool. This presentation is also being recorded for YouTube, so if you're watching us there, don't forget to subscribe. So I think we can get started. Um, the reason for the update to the Seller Express pricing tool, um, if you've been selling on Amazon for a while, you've probably received emails regarding the API update. They have changed from the PA API to the MWS Products API and this has changed how all multi-channel marketplace solutions, including Seller Express, use the repricing features. The change meant that we had to update our pricing tool and we were able to add some new features and some features have been changed or removed. I'll cover all them as we go. So the first new feature to be added is the ability to reprice against the Amazon Buy Box. So this is the Amazon Buy Box. Think of it as Amazon's preferred seller. They calculate who gets into the Buy Box based on a number of factors including feedback, customer service and price. The new feature of Seller Express isn't designed to give you the buy box automatically, but it does allow you to match or beat the seller who has the buy box. Think of it as targeting the stronger competitor. You are able to apply this setting per rule so you can decide which products will go after the alpha seller and which products will deal with the whole pack. Another new setting is the ability to reprice against Amazon and FBA only. That I will just show you an FBA product. Yeah, this one here. Uh, sellers who have FBA products mean that Amazon dispatch their products. They go out with the Amazon logo and they also have the Amazon logo and the Amazon features such as Super Saver Delivery applied to that sale. Sometimes you'll want to target only these sellers and ignore the other third party merchant sellers and now with Seller Express you can. So if we go into Seller Express, I can show you where you can add these settings. First of all, if you expand settings and go Amazon account settings and expand the price check settings tab, you can see here that you have compete with FBA only and it's just a matter of drop down and select yes or no, click update once you are ready. Another change to the Seller Express pricing tool to speed up price checking, Seller Express now caches your postage rates rather than retrieving it every time the auto repricer runs. If you change your postage rates on Amazon, you can update Seller Express by clicking this refresh postage button on the price check settings tab. So now I will go into the pricing rules and show you how to compete with the buy box. It is setting three of your pricing rule and you can select the drop down and just switch this to buy box or competitor. Now you can do this per rule, 
So you can change any of your rules to be competitor or buy box or use a combination of both of them for all your products. So those are the main new features and you see they're very easily updated on either the price check settings tab or the pricing rules tab. While these new features have been made possible by the changeover to the MWS products API, it does mean that we have lost some features to the Seller Express pricing tool. It is no longer possible to ignore sellers by entering their name, nor is it possible to enter a quantity you wish to ignore, but you can still ignore sellers below your minimum price. Um, if we just have a look now at one of the products, I will show you some of the other changes. The why this price change has now, screen, has now changed as well, you can see on the product info screen, if you click the blue question mark symbol, it will open the why this price screen. Amazon no longer return the list of individual sellers and prices, rather prices are returned as groups or pricing bands. These bands are returned in the why this, why this price screen along with the item condition the postage rate and the total cost that you are competing with. You can still see which of your pricing rules and settings are used to determine the price for your listing. So you can still check it tells you which rule and which setting is being applied for this item. You can also still view the product on Amazon and view a summary of your pricing rules. One of the other features in Seller Express is uh, virtual repricing. So I just wanted to give you a bit of a information about some new features that are coming to virtual repricing. First of all, the virtual repricing is where we host your auto pricing tool. The high speed servers result in faster price checking with the rules, settings and pricing schedule all still being controlled by yourself through Seller Express. Coming soon to virtual repricing is multi-price checking, where you can use multiple price pricing tools to reprice your inventory in chunks to allow for faster repricing overall. I will be sending out more information on auto repricing following the webinar. Feel free to get in touch if you would like to use virtual repricing. You can send an email to support at sellerexpress.com and we can help you get set up with it. So that's a quick roundup of the new Amazon auto repricing settings. Thank you for watching the webinar and if you would like more information I'll be sending documents shortly for you to look over. We do have Ryan available on chat so if you want to ask him any questions feel free to do that now.